Hey everyone, Ava Pilot here, and today we're going to be looking at Hasbro Kenner's Star Wars Shadows of the Empire Dash Rendar's Outrider. And you can't have the vehicle without the person itself. So we have Dash Rendar. He has Heavy Weapons Pack. So this is pretty cool. I actually had this growing up as a kid. Now, I know there's a comic, I never really read the comics. Uh, I had the comics because I had Boba Fett and IG-88, but son, oh, I just never read them. But I played the heck out of the game for the N64, loved it, and that's why I got the figures for it. So, let's check out the package for Dash Rendar. He has a little holographic picture there, see the shine, comes with this weapon there, another one there. Oh, and there's a lot of writing on the back of that. Uh, let's see, I'll just give you a status. Smuggler, pilot, mercenary. He's a human. He's freelance. Weapon of choice, none. And vehicle of choice, outrider. And you can see a bunch of the other things on the bottom here. Chewie, Prince Izor, Luke Skywalker, Dash, Boba Fett, IG-88, Darth Vader, Prince Izor, Electronic X-Ring Fighter, Swoop, which we already did a review on that, Boba Fett Slave 1, and the Millennium Falcon. Oh, the Falcon. Falcon. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, these two, though, surprisingly enough, are not part of the Shadows of the Empire line. I forgot what it's a uh, Power of the Force. Yeah, that's what they are. So, those ones don't have the purple going across, and it doesn't even say Shadows of the Empire on it. I do like the purple, though. I really like that. So here we got the big vehicle. It says, with cockpit and gun turret, you fully rotate in battle. Part of the Rebel Alliance. Alright, let's see. On the side here, we just get a picture of the ship. Picture of the ship. Oh, open cockpit to place pilot in multi-position seat. Figure soul separate. That's a shame. Picture of there again. And then the back. Let's see, from the Star Wars Multimedia Adventure, Shadows of the Empire. Take aim with laser cannons. Pivot gun turret on control arm. Rotate control arm for quick response battle action. Pose requires hand support. Oh, okay. Open cockpit. Okay, we already saw that. All the same stuff here. And a bunch here. You can have two crew members. Uh, it's 21 meters long. Not, you know, the real thing, like, in the universe. <laughs> So you can have two crew, two gunners, four passengers. And it has two heavy double laser cannons and two concussion missile tubes. I cannot wait to get this open. So why don't we get on that and take a closer look. So here is everything out of the package. So first, I guess we'll uh, talk about Dash Rendar here. A pretty cool figure. As I guess padded armor on, nice texture to it. I like that. You see he has a little hole in the back. We'll get to that after. But let's start by his articulation. So we got this head. It can go around. It can go all the way. I really don't like to do that though because these is so old. But okay. It didn't break. Yay. Now we got the arms. Those can spin around. No elbows. But his waist that can go all the way. Then we got the legs. All the way up. And go all the way back. Wow. And of course, no knees, no feet, because these are really old figures. And they didn't have that kind of articulation back then. But the details look great on here. Like, you see this belt that goes across both legs? The little belt buckle there in the center. And it looks like he has a beard. You can see kind of orange stubble going all over. Which is strange because the picture of him doesn't have that. So I don't know if he's supposed to have a beard or not. I'm really not sure. Now he came with two accessories. The first is this little pistol here. Nothing too fancy about it. Just a cool looking pistol. 
and that just pops right in there we go now the second one that's what this peg hole is for he's got the shoulder rifle here which attaches to the back and just fold that down and pop it in his hand there you go and I like this because when you move his uh, arm the whole thing here moves with it that's pretty cool now one thing I don't like about it though is uh, how loose it is like look at that and also it kind of ribble wobbles all over it makes me think it's going to break I mean you can actually take this part off real easily so it looks like you know and this part would come off too but it's a little bit of a smaller gap so I'm not going to do that I don't want to break anything but it seems like it'd be too easy to lose the piece or just have it break completely so we'll just put him aside since we're done with looking at him for now so now we have the Outrider now this thing is really cool this thing came with 68 stickers that I had to put on that's a lot of stickers <laughs> and the, the stickers are kind of weird uh, granted it's an older toy and a lot of older toys that had stickers the stickers didn't really match where you're supposed to put them too well like uh, like this one will say it it has a panel that it goes that's underneath it but yet you can see it the sticker doesn't actually match the shape of it it does this one you can see how that is the stickers are either a little too small or the shape is just a little bit off now it did come with some things in there it came with the this wide vision card Star Wars trilogy special edition coming in February pretty cool this is H2 oh that's nifty and it also came with a this little paper here. Premier Star Wars customizable card game. Shows you two of the cards there. Pretty cool. Parker Brothers thing. Now this is the directions it came with. This is just for the stickers. <laughs> All of this. And it was, yeah, 68 stickers. I, I do believe it. It's either 64 or 68. I cannot remember now. I'm sure if I look over here, I could figure that out. I see 65. So, oh, 67. Yeah, so it does go up to 68, I do believe. it. I just don't see the number on there anywhere. I mean, it is 67. I can't remember now. And then the back shows you how to actually put it together. Which is real easy. So, this is a separate piece. Uh, the gun up here is a separate piece. The one on the side here is a separate piece and the gun on the bottom is a separate piece but this whole metal piece gray and these two parts this was all together all right so about this I mean we got the, the turret up here that can spin all the way around we got the side one that can go around too the bottom one same as the top one spins around and it came with landing feet which is awesome because you know, I haven't had this since, you know, it first came out. So I forgot all about it because I was like, what am I going to do with that? Like, am I just going to put the figure on a shelf or the vehicle on a shelf and it's going to be kind of like lopsided because of the shape or something? No. So I'm happy it has feet. And the feet actually, you know, they can go in. Bam. Just like that. And they're all in now. Which it kind of still stands flat even without the feet out. But I like having them out. So then we got the cockpit. This thing just flips open. And you can see there's a seat for a dash in here. Now this thing will spin up. It can't go all the way because it has the uh, part here that the screw goes through. So it prevents it from going. I mean you could, but nah, I'm not going to risk it. And it just goes around so you can, whatever position you want it in, he can always be the right way. And position because, like the box showed, you can actually open it, like pull those two out, and then you can flip. So then you have it like this, or like this, or you know, whatever. Pretty cool. And you would just you know hold it while you're making it fly around. 
thought that was a real cool feature of it back in the day. Oh yeah, and there's even stickers in here you have to put. Jeez. And it's hard to tell kind of how to put some of the stickers on. Like, obviously one's here and here. I mean, it just follow the shape of wherever they are. Like where you're supposed to put them. You pretty much know which way. But then you have stickers like uh, this one back here. I actually had it the other way. So I had to unpeel it and flip it around. I looked at the box. But then there's some that doesn't really show from the box. So you don't really know. And plus the directions doesn't actually show you what the stickers look like. It's just the shape of the sticker. So you might put them in. Put them on sideways on a couple pieces or upside down. Oh, and speaking of the stickers, I was really surprised that the stickers were uh, in perfect condition. Like, the stickiness was just right. It wasn't too loose or anything. It didn't feel like the stickiness was drying up. So, th these are really holding really good. So, I I'm impressed about that. Now, for putting Dash in here which is actually not as easy as it might seem. Now, see it has this little lip here, a little control panel. His One of his legs has to go under that. If you see here, the way it's shaped, legs are supposed to stick out from there. The problem is, is his legs aren't really all that flat. So, it doesn't really want to fit in there the way it's supposed to. It's really hard. I'm not a fan of it. Like, I, I haven't been able to really get it in there perfect. So, I don't know if there is a way to do it or not. I think I had the same problem when I was a kid. Not being able to get them to fit just right. Without being afraid of breaking something. And, of course, as I say that, he actually fits in there this time. Without giving me a hassle. Because <laughs> I tried it a little while ago. But, uh, yeah, it gave me trouble. So, you can see he's in there. Laying back. He's really far in there, too. Now, when you close it, his feet are going to be kind of in the way of it. So, you're going to have to lift the seat a little bit. Get that in there so you can close it. And now you really can't even see him. Like, you can see his legs. But you can't see him too well. Because the plastic is a little bit darker. We could have had a little like LED light inside there or something. Hit a little switch to turn it on. But this thing is just awesome. I'm so glad I decided to start collecting again and going back and getting things that I used to own. I've done that a lot with things. Uh, back in the day, either giving away or throwing away a bunch of my figures for different series, and then I don't know where I'll just start recollecting again. Which I don't know why I do that. I just do but I'm not gonna do that anymore uh, I'm actually just gonna hold on to them and then someday give them to my kids now my eight-year-old is showing a little interest in Star Wars I've been watching a lot of Disney Plus and uh, yeah I went through Mandalorian season one season two uh, the Bad Batch I finally finished the first season of that I don't know when the second season will be coming, but I hope it does. And now I am on Rebels. So that's pretty cool. Af after that, or maybe in between, I'll do Book of Boba Fett. Alright, well that's been my review of Hasbro Kenner's Star Wars Shadows of the Empire, Dash Rendar's Outrider, and Dash Rendar. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. And, you know, as always, you all have yourselves a good one. And I will see you later.